SG, the Firebird, the Les Paul, and the Flying V. They aren't just guitars. They're music legends. There is not a guitar in the world that sounds like that. All made by the king of the six string, Gibson. Creating the Les Paul takes place in two buildings with five main stages. There's woodworking, fingerboard making, finishing, final assembly, and testing. A huge press permanently embeds the frets. So this is neck fit, right? Yes, sir. This is where the neck meets the body. Yes, sir. This step has an enormous effect on the guitar's sound. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's an option. That clicking sound means it's a perfect fit. So that's it. You're, you're creating the classic sunburst on a guitar. That's it. Look at that. What's involved in buffing? A lot of body movement. I'd be able to say it's like a dance. No, there are people dancing in here. I saw that. Here we go. Wow. Without a doubt, that is a skill. You couldn't just pick that up and do it in a day. These guitars have all been polished. I'm heading over to assembly to put them together. This is where the guitars come to life. Technicians add the pickups, the strings, tuning keys, and other pieces that make the guitar ready to rock. Oh, so you actually, when you send these guitars out, they're ready to go. Yeah, yeah, they're ready to play. They Once don't they need to be set up or anything. No, no, they're ready this to you, go. You're setting it up. John Q. Public can just pick it up and go. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Okay. The last stage is quality control, and the final judge is Mike Harden, a guitar maker with 33 years experience. So what do you do here in quality control? First thing we do is uh, do a cosmetic check. Right. I didn't scratch it on the way over here. <laughs> we check the intonation. And then we do a chromatic scale, or uh -huh. what we call a buzz check. And that's it. When your guitar is this good, sometimes you just lose yourself. <laughs> 